NBA fan says here, considering how far the how for the past 47 years the average record for high state coaches is around 73 percent. Does Ryan Day need to win 11 or 12 games a year just to be considered an above average Ohio State coach? That is a very good uh, point that Urban Meyer took this thing to an entirely different level. It's the best seven year run in school history in terms of wins and wins per year and everything else. I mean, you probably won more big tens, but it's a different animal now that you have to win an extra game. You have to win, uh, you know, there's nine conference regular season games plus the, uh, the championship game makes it a little bit more difficult. So it's hard to compare championships, but uh, that's an interesting point. If day just settles in as another Jim Trestle or a little more Jim Trestle plus uh, and putting a team in a playoff situation, a four-team playoff, which uh, Trestle didn't have. It was a two-team playoff for him. Uh, will people be happy with that, Tony? As long as he wins one or two. You know, if, if you're 10, 11, 12 wins, there can be some 10-win seasons in there. But those get forgiven really quickly with the national title. And nobody cares about Ohio State's 2001 season because they won the title the year after. Don't really worry about the 2004 season. That was a disaster because of the 2006 season, the 2005 season, where you're losing one Big Ten game or no Big Ten games. So I think there's leeway provided the fans are rewarded with just a national championship, you know, just every couple of seasons. And if if I think I've said it on here before, if he can be between Jim Trestle and Urban Meyer, that's as much as uh, Buckeye fans have a, a right to realistically hope for. And when you're saying – I. You know, he should be better than Jim Trestle. That's kind of a slap in the face to Jim Trestle as well because those were some fantastic teams. But that's where we are now. You know, you've got to mm -hmm. keep this ship going, and you've got some very talented players. And as we see, more talented players coming on board. So, yeah, you should be winning uh, 10, 11 games a year, and, and that's that's unfair. But how many times are they going to be underdogs each year? two times, one time a year. So, yeah, win the games you're supposed to. Win every other game you're, you're not, and you're at 11 wins. Mm -hmm. um, Mache, Mache Clark asked playoff chances. Uh, I think they have decent shot at the playoffs, particularly if they're 13 or 12-1 uh, and one again, win the Big Ten Championship. I think they have a tremendous chance at it. Uh, Tony, what's your thought? Is this a team that can uh, – can win enough games. I think the second loss seems to be a disqualifier anymore. Uh, what's mm -hmm. your thought? Can Ohio State uh, be in contention for that this year? Yeah, I, I definitely think so. Um, I wrote about ESPN's FPI today, which has uh, their their football power index. They have Ohio State's playoff chances at um, well, they have their they have them at zero. 0.7% to win out, to win all of their games. They have them like an 8% chance to win the Big Ten. So their playoff chances are below that, basically. And, um, yeah, I, I think I think they're being overlooked. You know, they, they are bringing in a new quarterback, but this was the number one quarterback in ESPN's rankings in 2018, the number two quarterback everywhere else. If anybody else is bringing this guy in, it's a plus. For Ohio State, it's, it's deemed um, a negative. And okay, we'll yep. see. I expect him to be very well, do very well. This is Ryan Day's offense. Everybody does well in it. And even if he can't, that doesn't have the control or able to throw the ball like Dwayne Haskins, they're still going to be able to do other things. Ryan Day is a very good coach, offensive coach, and he's bringing. He brought in Mike Yersich, who never had this kind of quarterback talent at Oklahoma State, and they were just fine. You now he was able to produce some very good quarterbacks, NFL quarterbacks, NFL receivers. And now he's got almost ready-made players waiting to play in his offense. So, yeah, I, I think the offense is going to be fine. The defense has been retooled. And I think Ohio State fans should expect the playoffs because they should expect to win the Big Ten. So, you know, those two things, although granted, Steve, they don't really go hand-in-hand hand winning the Big Ten and making the playoffs. But I don't, I don't think it's outrageous or um, unreasonable for Ohio State fans to think they have a very good shot at the playoffs. There's four teams, man. Yep. 
three years in a row the Big Ten champion hasn't made it. Maybe Ohio State can snap that string this year 